हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अनूप एंड माई चैनल नेम इज द क्लाउड बॉक्स एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन साइड द एजो डेटा ब्रिक्स प्ले लिस्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन पास द पैरामीटर्स और वेरिएबल्स फ्रॉम डेटा फैक्ट्री टू द एजो डेटा ब्रिक्स नोटबुक और अ डेटा ब्रिक्स नोटबुक सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू पास सम वैल्यू फ्रॉम द डेटा फैक्ट्री एंड that value should accept inside the databricks notebook and our databricks notebook should execute so for that we need a couple of things in our mind we need to create a databricks workspace first i am assuming that you already have created a databricks inside that we need to set up a clusters that would be a second thing so let's go one by one we need to create a databricks resource okay then we need to set up cluster set up cluster we need to create a notebook in this notebook you are going to write your code this will be a first thing and the, the next thing what we will do you will create a link services link services for uh, connecting data bricks to adf this will be a next part and you need to set up a token inside the uh, linked services to how to access your databricks notebook so do not worry i'll just going to uh, discuss this all thing one by one so i have already created uh, a databricks workspace and uh, let me show you this is i have created a microsoft azure databricks and basically if you are using azure so better to in you should create a microsoft azure databricks because this access and all would be easier so let's come to the data factory and uh, let's create a pipeline okay let's create a pipeline give a pipeline name like uh, pl underscore notebook underscore run and if you are just running a uh, databricks code or a python code from databricks notebook so inside that you have a something called a notebook activity so you just need to go to the databricks inside that you have a notebook you just uh, drag and drop or, or you can directly uh, search from here also okay notebook you will give and it will come i hope uh, it's good so now you have a notebook so in the notebook what we can see we have a, a general tab in say in this we just give name of a notebook a description if you want to give a timeout like in this we just want to mention at what uh, i mean after uh, timing it would will be a timeout i means it will uh, not going to retry retry suppose your notebook got failed so you just want to give a retry option like at i mean uh, how many attempts it is going to retry retry interval uh, seconds you can also give the second part will come to the azure databricks inside that you need to give your path basically where your this databricks note, notebook code is present do not worry if you have set up azure databricks it will be very easy inside the setting you have a something called a i mean sorry inside the databricks here actually i'm just uh, telling about the path so basically inside the databricks we need to create a link services so i have already uh, created one but let me show you how to create it again so i'm just creating databricks 2 you will choose your integration runtime you need to choose your uh, subscription so i am choosing my subscription the moment you create a databricks you will give a databricks name let me show you here just go to and the moment you create you we, this is the name basically okay you need to give your name and whether you choose a cluster type a new job cluster or a existing interactive cluster okay but we have already created our cluster so you can see this cluster cluster is up and running okay if you do not know how to create cluster i have already discussed in my last video i have complete video on how to create a setup a mount point how to create a cluster what is the data bricks all those things i have covered in my last video so yeah, i request you go and watch that okay we'll choose a existing cluster 
the moment you give this that by default url will come the url is nothing but this is basically a home url okay here you need to choose the access token why you need to access token if you give other thing like managed uh, service identity so this the cluster id will not going to uh, uh, pop up and your link service will not be able to create okay so what we could do we could choose access token and this access token we need from databricks notebook just come here just go to your uh, uh, profile tab just go to user setting inside that you need to create a, a generate new token i have already uh, created one but let me create one just give the name whatever the name you want to give i will give a notebook task anything it's you uh, just give any day so by default it is 90 days just go and generate it make sure you copy if you are not going to copy so the next time you are not able to see it just copy it and done and here you need to paste it okay now the moment you uh, paste it so your existing cluster is going to come here <coughs> okay you see right anup gupta's cluster this cluster is already present here anup gupta cluster this is this already came if you want to check like whether everything is good or not you just hit the test connection connection is successful just go and create it i already created another one because i want to show you how it uh, we could do it okay now the second thing is very important as i told this is the data bricks and this is our basically uh just go here just go to workspace just go to the notebook basically what we could do we could have a, we could create a new here we can create a notebook and we could give uh first dbr code something like that will give we'll create a default language we could choose anything but i'm choosing python here would be your cluster name if you have more than one cluster just uh, select the cluster you want click on create our code will be created here and you just want to make sure your cluster is up and running so you can see it this is will come inside the green okay if you want to reattach or something you there, there are a lot of option you could do detach de detach and reattach re start terminate something like that okay so our main idea is we need to pass the parameters from the data factory and it will take a parameters and it is going to run inside the databricks notebook okay so first thing we have created a link services the second thing as you know we are accessing databricks to the microsoft storage account that will be our file will be a present uh, something like that and we need to access it maybe right right so what we want to do i want to read the files I want to read this file order.csv file from the Microsoft storage account while passing the parameters from data factory not directly so for that we need to create a mount point how to create a mount point we is using various ways that is already I have covered so I request you go and watch that okay so the logic is I'm just going to show you like whether mount point is created or not so there is one command ls dot mounts let's see whether our mount point is created or not it will going to list our list down the mount point okay it is fs i guess it is fs.mounts okay yeah you could see right 
there is mount point already created for the landing okay so we are not going deep but i am just uh, explaining from scratch so it is uh, taking time so right so just take a example like spark dot read dot format in the in in this i'll pass csv and here what i'm going to pass dot option header true okay and here i'll just give load and in that i'll just pass mnt slash landing slash order dot csv okay and dot so <clears throat> it is uh, running okay and we could see our data is reflecting that means our mount point is created if our mount point will be not created then obviously it is going to fail so for mount point just the first step you go and watch how to create mount point and after that you will just hit this command by passing the valid path now our idea is we are not going to pass this path as it is from here we are going to give the path i will show you how we could so this is the notebook right in the setting we are just going to give the path that i already told so if you created a zoo data bricks right so what it is going to do just take it first dbr code just go and select we have given the whole path okay now come here we need to take a set variable okay in the set variable just go and create a variable first just give file name okay in the file name you just path you just need to give the same path what you give any tear okay just go and give this path here you got it now come to set variable go to setting select this value and the value you what you are going to give you just give this value i'm sorry the value by default it is um, the same value because it is basically hard coded so that's why we need to give it here okay and make sure you do not give uh, the string code here okay just attach it now come to notebook go to setting go to the base uh, uh, parameters give the same name here also go to notebook give the same name and here you just go to the add dynamic content go to the variables and just select this variable okay now come to your code just remove everything just remove everything okay just write your code so there is a um a widgets function so what we could do db util start let's see we do not know anything about it so what we could do we'll take a help like what all the functions are present oh sorry db utils db utils dot widgets dot help so there will be list of uh, function will come so in that function we will take a get okay so just removing again okay i'll remove later let's see db utils dot widgets dot get okay just remove this and in the get we are going to 
give this file name in the string code okay just give this just run from your side now okay it is dot already so it's wrong let's see and we are going to store in the uh, variables called path okay just execute it now we'll write our syntax okay spark dot read dot format inside that we'll give csv dot options <coughs> true and dot load and in the load we are going to give this path okay now just display df okay now what we need to do we have all done thing okay now let's see go and run this now go and run this go for the set variable let's see what is taken it is taken the a good thing i mean the path we want go to the notebook it is executing it also got successful so if you want to see the details just go here see and whether your job was done or not You see right we have defined the path is executed is executed and now we are able to see the results the whole idea was like we need to give the path from data factory and it should take inside the notebook and using your notebook activity we need to run the data bricks code so i guess in this video i have covered uh, everything how to create a notebook how to create a link services how to take what is notebook activity what is basically how to take the path inside the set variables so i guess everything is crystal clear in this video so thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned i will be uploading more videos related to the data factory or databricks pyspark spark sql thank you so much